When you enter the Pearl S. Buck House at Green Hills Farm, you pass over the threshold of much more than a preserved 19th century farmhouse in the eastern Pennsylvania countryside. You enter the life of a true citizen of the world, the world of Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winning author, of a woman equally comfortable working alongside Chinese farmers, or counseling American presidents. But most importantly, you enter the world of a tireless activist for children who opened doors to understanding, opportunity, and the dignity she considered their birthright. When you tour the house, you will learn about a child of missionaries who spent most of the first 40 years of her life as a minority living in China. And you'll learn about her second 40 years living in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and creating 80 works of fiction and nonfiction. But of all the defining moments in her life, it was the birth of her daughter Carol in 1920 that most dramatically influenced her future. Soon after Carol's birth, Miss Buck learned she was unable to have more children. Then, over the next few years, it became clear that Carol was not developing normally. It was largely the need for money to pay for Carol's long-term care that inspired Miss Buck to pursue her writing career in earnest. By 1935, Pearl Buck was already a successful writer. Three years earlier, her second novel, The Good Earth, won a Pulitzer Prize and remained on the bestseller list for 21 months. Her writing had earned her both critical praise and international celebrity. Having left China for what would be the last time, she was in a New York City real estate office looking for a farmhouse that was, in her words, a medium point between the mountains, the sea, and Carroll's school. This house, she said, was the one that had taken my heart at first sight. You fall in love with a house just as you do a person. Green Hills Farm became home to a truly international family. She and Richard Walsh adopted six more children, and she became a foster mother to many others of various ethnic origins. It was from this base that she became a champion for humanitarian causes. As was her wish, Pearl S. Buck is buried on the grounds of Green Hills Farm. In 1980, the property was designated a National Historic Landmark, one of only ten such sites in the United States that celebrates a woman's contribution to society through her house and a preserved collection of her personal belongings. This historic site is an illuminating portrait of an extraordinary woman and a testament to the doors she helped open between East and West. But the recounting of her life through her home is just the beginning of our story. For Pearl S. Buck left a legacy that lives on today. In 1949, with the help of her many Bucks County friends, including Lois and David Burpee, writer-producer Oscar Hammerstein, and author James Michener, Pearl Buck founded Welcome House, America's first international adoption agency. She was already an adoptive parent of five children when she received a phone call from an agency that had a healthy, normal child of Indian and American descent who was living in an institution. At the time, adoption agencies in the United States considered children of mixed race unadoptable. We found horribly that many of them, fine, ordinary children could do anything, were placed because they couldn't be placed anywhere else in, in insane asylums as total rejects of the world, not only society, but of the world. They were just doomed. Miss Buck and her friends soon learned that in other countries, the fate of biracial children was even worse, particularly Asian children born of American servicemen. When I was in Korea, my mother died when I was 13, and I didn't have any place to stay. And I was a complete orphan because I did not have any relatives, and my father left me when I was one. Um, they all used to call us really, really bad names almost to a point of that you are less than a dog. You know, we'll hear this kind of term, so sometimes the children will like to throw stones at you, spit at you. She gave me a second hope. She gave me a second chance at my life. With its guiding principle of assuring the well-being of the child and the adoptive family while celebrating the child's birth culture, 
Welcome House has found permanent, loving homes for thousands of children from 25 countries around the world, including Pennsylvania's foster care system. Welcome House staff is uniquely versed in the special needs of multicultural children and families. It has become the premier agency in America, facilitating intercultural adoptions. A critical component of Welcome House's success is its ongoing programs of support, community education, and advocacy for adopted children and families. Yes, it does! Oh my goodness, hello! I know! Oh my goodness! Go ahead. After 15 years of experience serving lost and needy children, in 1964, Miss Buck established the Pearl S. Buck Foundation. The foundation's purpose was to publicize and eliminate injustices and discriminations suffered by children who, because of their birth, were not permitted to enjoy social, economic, and civil privileges normally accorded children. The focus of the foundation was initially to serve children born in Asia, whose mothers were Asian and fathers were American. The foundation's first program started in South Korea, where services are provided to Amerasian and other biracial children and their families. In China, services are provided to orphans and children living in rural areas. In the Philippines, we support Amerasian peoples, ethnic minorities, and HIV and AIDS affected children and families. In Thailand, we provide services to ethnic minorities and HIV and AIDS affected children and families. In Vietnam, services are provided to orphans and handicapped children. These activities are supported by donors who serve as sponsors or champions for children. Sponsors and children exchange letters which provide the children with encouragement and support. Child and sponsor both benefit from the cultural interaction. Champions receive monthly success stories about the activities made possible by their generous contributions. These donor programs provide rewarding opportunities to share in an ongoing campaign that spreads medical assistance, nourishment, justice, and dignity to some of the world's most fragile citizens. Today, the three distinct functions operate as one under Pearl S. Buck International, with the common mission of continuing the legacy and dreams of Pearl S. Buck. To promote the legacy, Green Hills Farm is preserved and her home is interpreted to educate visitors and develop cross-cultural appreciation for children and families. Programs at the historic site include a wide array of cultural learning experiences. We have Tai Chi classes, lectures, book club discussions, Chinese luncheons for tour groups, and an international gift shop. Our doors are open to school groups for workshops especially designed for children to learn more about the Asian culture. We have picnics and community events like our International Day celebration that takes place every summer. Our facilities can be rented for weddings or business meetings. All you have to do is pick up one of our brochures of upcoming events and you can see what an incredibly exciting time it is here. We sincerely hope you visit us at Green Hills Farm, but more importantly, we hope this inspires you to join with us to help us open doors to opportunity by participating in our sponsor or champions programs, to tell a family member or friend about our adoption services, to come back again and again to participate in our many activities and events, to in your own way become a part of our mission and to share the joy of keeping the legacy of Pearl S. Buck alive. Certainly we are one world and, and if we don't know it it's dangerous, but I think we are beginning to know it more and more. And that does not mean that we give up our nationhood or our differences.